The latest feature on YouTube right now allows users to create videos no more than 60 seconds in a style similar to what we see on TikTok. YouTube Shorts may be new, but it's pretty clear that it's here to stay, so the smart thing to do as a content creator would be to learn how it works and use it for the betterment of your channel. Here are some tips on how to use YouTube Shorts as a complete beginner. Before we get into the video, make sure to check out the link in the description for a free YouTube training that will reveal to you the biggest secret of making money on YouTube. Number 7. How to Start Making YouTube Shorts The YouTube Shorts feature is targeted towards mobile YouTube app users, so the best way to create your short would be to do so through your YouTube app on your phone. Once you open the app, all you have to do is look at the bottom of your screen to find the option to create videos. It's going to look like a plus sign in between the icons labeled Shorts and Subscriptions. Click on this sign and you'll see a heading marked as Create with three options below it. The option to create a short will be the first one and obviously, this is what you'll have to click on to start making your YouTube short. You can also create YouTube Shorts through your desktop by clicking Create on the top right hand corner and uploading the videos that are less than or about 60 seconds long. Add the phrase hashtag shorts to your title or description, then hit upload. Make sure that the selected video has a square or vertical aspect ratio, since these suit YouTube shorts the best. Number 6. How to record shorts Now, if you've never made a YouTube short before, then YouTube is going to ask you to allow them access to your microphone and camera for this next part. Once you've allowed this, you'll be able to use your camera to create a short either 15 or 60 seconds long. To alter between these two time frames for your videos, just press the circle containing the number 15 and it'll show you the option to make a 60 second video instead. To get back to 15 seconds, press again. To record videos, press down on the big red button in the middle of the bottom of the screen. Be sure to hold it down to record and keep an eye on the slender horizontal bar at the top of your screen that indicates how much of your time you've used. This can help with getting the point of your short across neatly within the time frame. Apart from this, there are also a few options you can make use of while recording. The Add Sound feature at the bottom of the time frame bar allows you to select a song to add to the video you're making once the video is 15 seconds long. If it's longer, then the song will only play at the beginning of your video. The left side of the Add Sound button shows an X, which will give you the options to either delete your video, to save your video, and exit the recording page, or to cancel this process. At the top right side of your screen, you'll see three symbols listed horizontally. The top one allows you to switch between your outside and inside camera, while the one below it allows the option of speeding up your video. Under that one is a timer that lets you choose to have a countdown before your video starts. It could either count down 3 seconds, 10 seconds, or 20. If you've recorded some content but haven't used up all 15 or 20 seconds, then a small ghost symbol is going to appear below the timer icon after you've paused. This shows you a faded image of where you've left off in your video so you can know how to come back in. Along with this comes the undo and redo buttons which appear at either sides of the big red record button at the bottom of your screen. These do exactly what their name implies, which is to undo pieces of your video you've already recorded if you don't like them, and redo pieces you may have removed. Once you're satisfied with what you've recorded, you can go ahead and click on the tick icon which will appear on the bottom right side of your screen next to the redo button. Tapping this tick takes you to the editing page. Number 5. How to add sounds to your short The process of editing a YouTube short is very similar to editing a TikTok video, so if you're familiar with TikTok, you're in luck. At the bottom of your screen will be four symbols listed horizontally. The first will be the sounds feature, which is similar to the add sound button on the recording page. Tapping this feature will bring you to a search bar, which will allow you to browse for a song to add to your video. There's also a section labeled favorites, which will be reserved for the songs you've labeled as your favorites. If you choose to add a sound to your video, there will be an option to adjust the sound you've chosen at the bottom of your screen, which allows you to choose which section of the song you'd like to use in your video. At the left of the adjust sound feature would be an icon labeled sound, which when tapped will give you the options of changing the sound you've chosen or to delete the sound altogether. If you'd rather not change anything, you can click cancel at the bottom. Number four, how to add text to your short. At the right of these icons will be the option to add text to your video. After tapping this, you'll be allowed to type out and edit whatever text you choose to write. The text edit section gives access to different styles for your text which can be changed using the A and classic icons. A allows the changing of how your font is presented while classic is just the first font style you'll see presented to you. 
Tapping on this will change the style to different fonts with varying names. On the left side of the A icon will be a symbol similar to what you'd see in the paragraphing section of the home area in a Word document. Clicking on this symbol will change the paragraphing style of your text from central to aligned right and the others just like in Word. At the bottom of this text editing page will be a list of colors to choose from for your text and along the left side of your screen will be a line with a circle on it which controls the size of your text once you move this circle up and down. Once you're satisfied with how your text looks, you can tap the word done at the top right corner of your screen. Just like with TikTok, there are ways to control when your text will appear during the video. To do that, all you have to do is tap on your text after clicking done. Doing this gives two options labeled edit and timing. The edit option will only bring you back to the text editing page while the timing will allow you to control when your text shows up on screen and for how long. It's very easy to do this once you've tapped the timing icon and after you're done adjusting when your text appears in your video. You can click on done to exit the timing section. Number three, the other editing tools in shorts. Now back to the four icons at the bottom of your screen once you've recorded your video. Next to the text icon, which we just discussed, would be an icon labeled timeline. And this basically does the exact same thing as the timing option you're presented with after tapping your text. At the right side of the timeline icon is the icon labeled filters, which basically allows you to choose between different filters for your videos. You can choose whichever one suits your video more. If you're okay with what you've edited, you can click on the next button, which is at the top right corner of your screen. Number two, how to upload your short. After clicking on next, you'll be told to make a title for your short. Choose a title that pertains to what you've included in your video. Under that, you'll be asked to set the visibility of this short, where you'll have the options of making it public, meaning that anyone can view it, unlisted, meaning that only those with a link would be able to see it, or private, where only people you choose can view your video. There's also the option of scheduling a date for your short to be released. After you've decided on these things, you can go ahead and click on Upload Short at the bottom of your screen. Before we get into number one, don't forget to check out the link in the description for a free YouTube training that will reveal to you the biggest secret of making money on YouTube. And make sure to hit the subscribe button for more valuable content. Number one, monetization of YouTube shorts. Right now, the way that YouTube short creators are gaining revenue from their videos is not through advertising like with normal videos on YouTube. The shorts feature doesn't give much time for ads to be played during or after videos so it's looking to be quite difficult for creators to monetize their shorts in the same way that their regular videos are monetized. But all hope isn't lost. You can still gain something out of this feature because recently, YouTube had announced a $100 million fund for YouTube Shorts creators to reward the top performing shorts on their platform. The best thing about this fund is that you don't have to be a part of the YouTube partnership program to be rewarded. You can be a new creator and still get something out of your shorts content. You can be a new creator and still get something out of your shorts content from YouTube once your shorts are among the top of the tops. To see this as encouragement to make engaging shorts that keep viewers watching your content and being hooked from the beginning. You don't want people scrolling past your videos, so be sure to let viewers know why they should stick around for the entire 60 seconds of your shorts. Make sure to check out the next video to learn how to find the best niche for you. See you there.